Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, um, we're going to talk about the stall speed uh, in the simulator of the uh, Apprentice S-15E aircraft. So, w when you approach a stall, the controls get mushy. And I'm going to try to show you what mushy means. Um, so, I got no wins. I'm in low rates. I'm in experience mode. And we're going to take off. Okay, now I'm going to pull the power back slowly as I let the um, elevator out. Okay, and so we're going to get here on uh, downwind, get the aircraft nice and stabilized and level. And uh, I realized one thing. Um, from the previous video, I didn't change my uh, um, elevator trim. I'm going to change the elevator trim tab to all the way back. And notice that it's climbing like crazy there. So I'm going to pull the power back more. And um, get the aircraft slowed down to the speed I like to fly at which is about 22 or 3 miles an hour so once I get level here we'll get that level okay okay so that's a pretty good level flight so now um, what happens when you approach a stall? Well, if I pull the stick all the way back, let it climb, and then you can see it, it, it's trying to turn a little bit, it's trying to descend, it's flying at about 16, 17 miles an hour, okay? And that's approaching a stall. Okay, now it's in a stall because it's, this airplane doesn't stall violently. It just noses down, porpoises up a little bit, and you can kill the stall by adding power back. So there's no violent uh, stall maneuver to look for. Basically, all you got to do is hit the tree. <laughs> so we'll try that again. So what is it you're looking for in a stall? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take off and try to get the uh, airplane in a level flight condition again. Okay, there's a nice level flight, 22 miles an hour. And so if you try to turn real quickly, it doesn't go very fast. Okay, it feels like the, the controls are mushy. So if I even slow it down a little bit and try to um, fly it even a bit less, so I've got full back pressure, i got full ailerons, and it just doesn't roll very quickly. And it's just, you know, mushing around in the air. You can do moving this stick all day long, and it's just not doing anything. That's mushy controls. That means you're near a stall. So what do you do? Add power. Okay. So we're starting out with this uh, at the lowest possible speed. So what I'm going to do next is instead of flying at 22 or 3 miles an hour, okay, where we are now, I'm going to push the power up maybe 5 or 10 percent and move the trim back to center and let's see what we can fly at somewhere about 59 or 60 miles, 59 percent or 60 percent. I'm right now at, uh, let's see, that's 59 percent. Remember your um, DX6 has an indicator on it that um, tells you the percentage of the throttle. So right now my throttle is setting at 59 and that's a pretty good speed. I'm flying probably 28 miles an hour. I'm not climbing anymore. I'm descending a little bit, so let me try to push the power up to 60. So um, now when you 
do a turn, it responds quicker at this speed. Okay. So you can pull it around and it actually does a fairly tight turn at this speed. Okay. So now that you know what the stick feels like when it's mushy versus not mushy, um, we can even move this up a little bit more. So right now we're flying level at about 27, 28 miles an hour and we're nowhere near the stall anymore. But what happens if you go even further? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the uh, elevator trim all the way forward, which is the, if you recall, is actually the neutral position. So now I'm gonna see how much airspeed I, how much throttle I need to hold that airspeed, uh, hold that level. So right now I'm at 64% and that looks pretty level. Flying at 32 miles an hour. So each time you move the throttle forward and retrim it, you find a new hands-off level position and a different airspeed. Now, the faster you're flying, the harder it is to learn. So, um, uh, you're going to see me f at the field fly at 50% versus 60%, and that works well. Uh, the sim is not always the best uh, simulation of the aircraft, but you've already seen enough uh, videos, if you've seen all the previous ones, of me flying at 50% power. Let's go over that tree so I don't hit it. And you'll find out that um, you'll find a more you might find your own more comfortable speed to fly at. And it may be at 55%, but it's certainly not going to be at 100%. So I'm going to move the throttle up to 75%. There's 75%. Okay. And it's still going to climb. Now I'm flying at 35 miles an hour. And still climbing. So actually, I'm gonna, what I'm going to have to do is hold the nose down to fly level. I've got to push forward on the stick to keep it from climbing. And now you were flying at 40 miles an hour. So just cruising around and doing turns and landing, you're going to have one throttle setting and one trim setting. So what you're learning here is not just about um, the stall speed, but any speed in which you uh, trim it for level flight and um, see what the performance of the aircraft is with that uh, particular um, throttle setting and trim. Okay, so... Um, you can see from that that the okay, let's clear that. Um, you can see from that demonstration that the stall speed, uh, yes, at 22 miles an hour, we're you know a third above that. So this, if the stall speed is 16 or 15, we're flying above 20, so we're probably about a third higher than the stall speed. Um, but sometimes twice the stall speed, so flying at 30 miles an hour, feels more comfortable. Once you become accustomed to the rate at which it turns, the rate at which it, the elevator pulls back, and so forth. So it becomes a matter of practice, and sometimes it is a personal preference at what speed you like. But once you figure out the speed you're comfortable with, trim it to that speed, level, flight, hands off, and that may take, you know, five minutes in the air to get it trimmed the way you like. But once you get it trimmed, you don't change it. So, uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.